Hello. This is Barry, and you're watching Barry and the P.I. Uh, it's a nice day out, nice and cool. Uh, it's been sunny, and it's been cloudy. Right now, it's, it's kind of cloudy. There's some sun peeking in uh, around my yard. Um, well, a few days ago, I did a video about talking about natural disasters here in the Philippines. And sure enough, yesterday, I guess it was about 8.30, uh, I was sitting at my desk, uh, and all of a sudden, things were shaking. And uh, might have said it's an earthquake. And the dogs were all upset, running around, barking. They wanted to go outside, so I let them. It lasted about one to two minutes. Uh, it was a pretty good shake, too. My lights that uh, hang from the ceiling were all moving. And uh, I just kind of held on. Uh, so we had a little earthquake, a 6.2, I think they said, uh, that occurred uh, uh, between Luzon and Mindanao. And uh, that happens. Happens more than I would want, but. Uh, it makes things, the days a little more interesting. Uh, I've been through a lot of earthquakes. Uh, back in uh, 1999, I moved to Taiwan to teach English at a Bish Bushiban. That's what they call a school that after, they get out of, elementary school gets out about 12 o'clock, and so they would go from the regular school over to this place and they would uh, uh, learn English from me, moi. And uh, they also learn computers and science and stuff like that. Uh, the high schools, the junior high schools, get out, I think about one or two. Uh, but they also go to school on Saturdays, too. Uh, so their, their system's a little different than what I'm used to. But uh, I was teaching in a small city. Uh, it's kind of far away from Taipei. And uh, one night, I'd, I'd gone to bed about 12 o'clock, I think, and uh, I, uh, I was uh, kind of asleep when all of a sudden, I don't know, it was just, but it was a real big one. It was 7.3, I think. And uh, it affected, uh, just about everybody. It wasn't a, I don't think there were many people killed or anything like that. Just did a lot of damage uh, on poorly built bu uh, buildings, even in Taipei. Uh, now, when I saw all the, felt this shaking, I sat up in my bed and the floor was moving underneath my feet. I said, oh no, this is an earthquake. And I went over to turn on the lights and there were no lights. It was power was out, brown out. And uh, then I heard my neighbors, they came over to check on me and I was all right. I checked on them and uh, they couldn't speak any English, but we, I figured out enough. So. I went on back in and went to lay down again. And all night long, 
the tremors, aftershocks, and that went on for most of the night. And then I thought, well, I was laying in bed, and it's either a earthquake or China has attacked Taiwan. Because <laughs> that was all the news, a lot of talk about that. And, uh, and I said, nah, it's just this, this is an earthquake. So all night long, it, it, these aftershocks were occurring. And uh, I was just waiting and hoping for the sun to come up, you know, and so I could get out and explore around. So uh, there was no real damage to my, ha my apartment. Uh, I lived along a hutong or alleyway in this little town. And uh, so I... Uh, I got on my bicycle uh, the, when the sun came up and I started riding around the town to uh, see if I could see any damage or anything and I, I didn't see. So we didn't really get much damage there in, in long time. Uh, but uh, I know in uh, Taipei, some of the poorly built businesses and buildings had uh, come down, so so I'm used to earthquakes. Uh, then I moved to a, a tall building. It had about uh, uh, twelve floors or something, and we'd get I'd be standing in there, and the, my kitchen area was built out on the what was. Uh, a patio, and I'd be standing there fixing stuff, and all of a sudden, uh oh! <laughs> and I was really kind of scared about that building coming down, you know. Uh, and I was on the eighth floor, and uh, that would have been tragic if that had come down. But they they build their the non-corrupt builders will build them. Uh, the correct way, and earthquake proof. And I got some little green fly-like critter all along here, uh, get distracted. So uh, I'm used to earthquakes and tremors, and uh, so I, I wasn't too worried. Uh, so it was, uh, and Taiwan got a lot of them while I was there. Had a lot of earthquakes, but the 7.3 was the the strongest one that I lived through. So, see, that's what you have to deal with. But it, I consider it just makes life more interesting. And uh, I knew about all these that uh, I wasn't going to let it stop me from moving here. Uh, so. Uh, other news, uh, still working on getting to the embassy to straighten things out with them and get my social security check deposited in a bank here. Uh, I'm trying to open an account with BPI, uh, or BPI, yeah, uh, Bank of the Philippine Islands. They're one of the bigger banks that have uh, have them all in in every just about every town in Taiwan. So otherwise, uh, I was looking over there and kind of looks like a rose, a new flower. I didn't even know we had it. And I finally got the yard mode again. Ah, wish I could have gotten some slower growing grass. <laughs> grass grows too fast here. So uh, I keep having to get somebody over here to 
to mow it and trim and stuff like that. So, added expense. Now, so if you're a young guy, yeah, you can get out there and do that yourself. But my lawn mowing days are long gone, I think. So, that's about it. Uh, I am going tomorrow, I'm going to uh, do something with my beard. Uh, I'm going to trim all this down, all this down, uh, cut that off, and then just make it kind of this. Oh, well, you'll see. Uh, anything else? Uh, nothing much going on. Uh, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I think I only have need one more to reach 600 or seven. Uh, I don't know, six or seven hundred, something like that. Uh, and y'all stay safe. Have a great day. Cause it's it's a good day to be outside. And uh, take care of your wife, and your family, and your pets. And I'll see you here again, hopefully tomorrow. Y'all have a great day.